What's up guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we got another test drive for you in this 1972 Chevy Chevelle. Of course, this car here has got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, aftermarket like brand new wheels and tires. Still got the nipples on the tread. Uh, this was a uh, $9,000 crate motor, aluminum headed 383 with all the paperwork on it, all the upgrades in the front. Looks like power steering, power brakes, electric fans, aluminum radiator. This car's pretty sweet, guys. Coming on down with the hood. Of course, we'll be taking it down the road, point nine flaw, so you know what you're getting before you get here. We got detailed pictures of all the rides on the lot. We also have financing and shipping available. If you hit subscribe and share this video, You'll see more of me, and I'll be able to do this every single day. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking some stuff out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? I haven't tried it yet. I literally started this car up off the front row over there. Took it to the back. Kind of wiped it down. Cleaned her up. And pulled her up here. I haven't actually driven it down the road yet. I'm a little mad that I missed all the sevens on the mileage. We'll go ahead and start it up and let it get warm. See the gas gauge is about half a tank there. Try some stuff out. See if we can get the blower motor to do anything. I don't hear it kicking on temperatures on its way oil pressure was never hooked up I don't guess aftermarket radio here for retro sound give me some we got static so we do have sound the seats look good the back seat Package tray, headliner. Turn signals. Left side, right side. Horn. Oh, I was gonna say it worked. It does have the spring in it, it's just not hooked up. Okay. All right guys, let's go ahead and hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Situated in here. She's warm now at 180 degrees. Got the hood pins in. She feels pretty peppy. Of course, anything I see throughout this video, you'll know about it. There's reverse for you. In drive there. <clears throat> Let's hit the road. Checking the brakes. They don't feel bad. Feel pretty good. Motor's pretty strong. Back in the brakes here. turning left if I turn right it starts fading to the right slowly it doesn't like pull back one way or anything like that but it's pretty good it's pretty tight car shifted down it's not kicking down you can pull down with the shifter here car it's a good driver but it's got plenty of power nice and smooth on the suspension reaction time you know, the uh, gas pedal is just instant feels pretty good 
Undercarriage shots are coming up next. I'm gonna lay the uh, light on the ground. We'll light up the undercarriage. We'll look for any kind of leaks and stuff. And uh, we'll put it in slow motion too, so you can really see. At the end of this video, picking out the flaws, that's where we go around the whole entire car, look for chips and scratches. So stick around for that. I'll be back here in a moment. Got y'all set up here. We're getting ready to head back to the lot. All right, yeah, so far so good. This thing's pretty fun. It's got plenty of low end power. Plenty of all around power. The motor's awesome. Let's see, speedometer is coming up. Try not to miss anything here. Brakes feel good, suspension feels good. Plenty of pep, you get in the brakes, they feel good. Get in the throttle. Plenty of get up, you can see that front end coming up. Just constantly in the throttle, in the brakes, checking things out.
no play at all in the steering. As soon as I turn, it turns. A little squeak coming from the dash pad, I think. Get her down in a low gear here. It'll start spinning on you, get down in the throttle. A nice little bump here. It's not too bad, man. We're gonna head back to the lot, picking out the flaws that's coming up next. I got a little Fox Body Mustang I need to jump in when I get back to the lot, make another video. Come back, put all these together for you so I can have these videos out tomorrow morning or afternoon. Just need to get them out to you. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stick around, picking out the flaws is coming up next. Okay, I'm here to pick out the flaws. We're gonna walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around the front end here, your lower front bumper on the edges has got some overspray. Little cracks there in your marker light on the side there. Chips. Got a little bit of uh, chrome peeling up around the headlight bezels. Chips in there behind the grill. This light over here also got some little cracks, chips in it. chips up here in the front coming down this side first over the fender this one's got a lot of flake in it as you can see little spot there little spot there in the paint some chips at the bottom of the door a little chip there back here as well Chip here on the edge of the door, up top, a little bit of pitting on the chrome. Little chips there. A little bit of cracking here. Back window, a little extra glue here. Little spots in the trim. Overspray up here. Front windshield. A little spot there on it. It may come off, but it is. 
on the front windshield there coming over the roof little crack here coming up on the back little bubble there chips over here seals not bad the jams look okay a little crack there the chips looking down in the trunk looks like it's gotten wet before you can see in the little spots there It's wet right here. Package tray. Looks all right. Coming down with the trunk lid. Okay. Little bubble there. Chips here, little bubble. Coming down this side, lower portion. Little bubbles in the back corner here. Spot in the paint there. Should come off. Some dings in your trim. Little spot there. Big old spot there, missing some paint. Bubbles in the corner here. Little scuff. Little spots there. Up here in the front, you got some dings. A little spot there. Little cracks there in the paint. Little cracks. Up your pillar there, it's some cracks in it. Crack up top there. Front windshield looks pretty good. Over the roof, you got some cracks up in the top. Right there as well. Made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and open her up, check out the inside.
door panel looks pretty good. A little wavy at the bottom. Weather strippings older but soft at the bottom, crumbling at the top. Get around in here. The seat on this one. Little spots on the side there. Carpet's got a little red tint to it. It's older. Package tray on the passenger side, a little wrinkly in the corner there. Let's see if I can show that. Oh! Your headliner looks pretty good. there in the dash door panel looks good Coming down with the hood, got to shake it a little bit. Springs are a little stiff, but once it starts going, it's good. You've got your little clips here. My hands are so stiff. We went dirt bike riding this weekend, and whoo! Looking across the hood. Got a lot of metal flake on this one. Crack there. A little bubble there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Detailed pictures are on our website. You can go to maplemotors.com and get free approved with financing. Get a shipping quote. And if you hit subscribe, that'll help me out quite a bit. I do appreciate it, guys. I'll see you later.